Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the equation of the hyperbola given its vertices and the equation of asymptote. Okay, so in our example, ang vertices natin ay 2, negative 4 and 2, 12. And yung equation ng ating asymptote is y equals negative 2x plus 8. Okay? So, ang first step natin dito guys is kailangan malaman natin yung opening ng ating hyperbola. So, para makita yun guys, kailangan i-plot natin yung ating vertices. So, una we have 2, negative 4. So, makikita yan dito sa ating quadrant 4. Then, we have 2, 12 which is nandito banda sa ating uh, quadrant 1. Okay, so as you can see, na yung two vertices natin forms a vertical line. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating transverse axis is vertical. So, therefore, the opening of our hyperbola is also vertical. Okay? Then, it follows the formula y minus k square over a square minus the quantity of x minus h square over b square equals 1. Okay? So, next is hanapin na natin yung value ng ating h, k, a, and b. Okay? So, yung h and k natin, yan yung center ng ating hyperbola. So, since meron tayong um, transverse axis, yung uh, line na nabuo ng ating dalawang vertices, so, yung center is makikita dun sa midpoint mismo ng ating transverse axis. Okay? So, pag binilang natin, guys, ang distance ng ating vertices ay 16. So, meaning, yung center natin is 8 uh, units away from our vertex. So, pag binilang niyan, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so ang center natin is makikita kay 2, 4. Nakuha guys? So therefore, ang H natin is equals to positive 2 and yung K is equals to 4. Next is yung value ng ating A. So kung natandaan nyo, yung A is the distance between the vertex and the center. So in our, in our graph, Ang distance between the center and vertex natin is 8. Okay, so that is the value of our A. Next is, hanapin naman natin yung value ng ating B. So, using the equation ng ating asymptote, which is y equals negative 2x plus 8. So, dito guys, uh, ang clue natin is yung slope ng ating asymptote which is equals to negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. Nakuha? So, kung babalik tayo dun sa ating graph, alam naman natin na si asymptote is dumadaan doon sa center ng ating hyperbola. Tama? Then, kung gagamitin natin yung clue nating slope, which is the uh, negative 2 over 1 or that is rise over run. Okay? So, from the center, ang rise natin is yung value ng ating A. Tama? Then, ang run natin is yung value ng ating magiging B. Nakuha guys? So, ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-equate si rise over run natin na A over B dito sa ating slope na negative 2 over 1. Okay, so try natin. So, ang A over B natin dito is magiging uh, 8 over B since ang value ng ating A is equals to 8. So, i-equate na natin ngayon si 8 over B dito sa ating slope na negative 2 over 1. Okay? Then, solving for B, by cross multiplication, we have negative 2B equals 8 times 1, that is 8. Then, divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. 
So, lalabas dito na yung value ng ating B is equals to negative 4. Okay? So, ngayon pwede na natin gamitin itong A, B natin to get the denominator ng ating standard form. Okay? So, kunin na natin yung ating standard form. That is Y minus K. So, ang K natin is 4, then square, over A, which is 8, then square, minus the quantity of X minus H. So, ang H natin is positive 2, then square, over uh, yung B natin, which is negative 4, then square, equals 1. Okay, so simplify natin to guys. So, we have uh, Y minus 4, Square over 64 minus x minus 2 square over negative 4 square, which is 16, equals 1. Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung standard form ng ating hyperbola. Naintindihan ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!